No. <laughs> I know. I am so wound up today. Hey everybody, this is not a spring cheek because Space Shuttle Endeavor, who we've been sitting there watching, is literally like, well, like in my backyard. So we've been watching the streets and everything um, change for it. We went out and shot the space shuttle. We did all the pictures. Okay, and we're shooting this, and then we're gonna go out and take more space shuttle pictures. I know. Is this kind of geeky? Well, I guess this is kind of news, but it is really exciting. It's historic. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on. Oh, yeah. And there was something kind of important. Last night was the vice presidential debate. But we'll get more to you with old Cam's comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> what do you, you have something else in your hands. No, this is bite me. This is one of Monty's what happens in Vegas doesn't leave Vegas kids. Yeah, that's a flea. Yeah, well, she's got lots of fleas, of course, but she... This key's called Bite Me. This is the new symbol of the Obama-Biden campaign team because they're the most arrogant SOBs on the face of this planet. You wait till the next election. Bite Me says oh, you're going to have a you're going to have a grinning jackass showing total contempt for the entire universe on the next debate. Mm. He knows because he's an symbol for the Obama campaign. Yeah, and speaking of the debate, I heard that Biden won, and then I heard that. Okay, here's the cute thing about it. Uh, everything that is done with the Obama administration has an asterisk with it. It seems that there was two, there were three different um, versions of it. There was the print version, there was, you know, the transcripts, there was the television version, and there was a radio version. If you read the transcripts, basically you read that Ob uh, Biden refused to stop talking. He ah. kept interrupting, he kept interrupting um, of, of, um, of Ryan, which was a violation of the rules, and if you watch the television, he looked like a, he looked like a, basically, they said they looked like he was a clown without the makeup on, but if you listen to the radio version, it sounded like he was tough on Ryan. What happened is the asterisk said that a, large, a larger percentage than normal of people listen to this on the radio, which is why we picked, why we skewed the figure. No, they didn't, folks. Nobody listens to the radio anymore. I didn't know they listened to the radio. Maybe they listened to the internet. I, I listened to part of it on the internet because for some reason my cable was not working. Yeah. And then it was stuck. But, oh, yeah. Uh, should I say it's all over for the Republicans? Oh, God, now? yeah. Okay. As most people know, the unemployment rate is just driving tremendously, that no one is applying for unemployment benefits anymore. And as of today, the consumer confidence is at 97%, uh, which has never been in the history of our nation. And like me says, the biggest announcement of all is you are now making more money under your, ta your take home pay is higher under this presidency than it has been for the last five years. And five years ago, people were rolling in money. So you realize how much money you are taking home? Mm. Of course, Bite Me says, he said, they really can't believe people are going to buy this garbage. But it's how, okay, in Chicago, if they don't give up, this is a game, this is a typical, my, my mother's family is from Cicero, Illinois, where they consider people to be Timmies in Chicago. Uh, but um, in, in Chicago, this is how they run a campaign. They have, they, they've they got it like in a book. They go by the book and they do not vary from it. I mean, I know what the next thing is going to be, which is going to be a lectures from Barack Obama about how you're lying, even though it's not supposed to be on the economy. He's now going to make it on the economy, which is a foreign policy thing next time. Because last night, Biden showed the start of it. Biden basically says, well, we had no knowledge that they asked for all of this stuff, even though the fact that two the, the two days before the uh, before the before the ambassador was killed, they contacted the White House, and the people in the State Department said the White House was continually kept appraised. But then again, you said you have to understand the president hasn't attended a briefing in a half a year. Mm -hmm. And two women accused of stabbing man on Metro Blue Line. Yeah, that's basically how they get money. <laughs> they rob people. The attractive females go go up to a guy and they they rob him. And then if he gets it, if he uh, tries to stand up to him, then they they knife him. An LA councilman Rosendahl battles cancer and won't seek re-election. Well, that's the that's the advocate for the homeless. That basically, 
uh, had been losing a battle over Marina del Rey because they're cleaning up the homeless over in that area. It used to be that um, all along Washington Boulevard, people would park their their um, their truck, their their motorhomes and stuff to stay because they had no place else to stay. Uh, he lost the battle, and now it's a two-hour parking, 24 hours a day. So, mm. and charting spatial history on the Southland map. Oh yeah, we just we just were out taking pictures of it. It's just it's actually like a block and a, it's a block and a half or so from this where we're shooting right now. So we. We actually did a whole bunch of neat stuff this morning, which you'll have to see. Actually, you know what's amazing is when you see it up close. It's really heavy. What? I would not fly that thing. I heard a person I mean, said this basically referred to as a flying coffin. Oh, well, you know, from a distance it looks really big, and then you get up there, and I'm like, I thought it would be bigger. No, it sits on the top of a 747. It's not as oh, big. We, okay. We, but when you think about it that way. We're looking at the reason why are they taking cutting all these trees down, I mean, they're actually pulling the light poles off and then putting, having people come along to hold the wires that are no longer attached to the light poles <laughs> down. But it is, it is not as wide as the streets, folks. If it is not as wide as the street and, the street, and it's like where they're going, the street is like six, uh, six lanes wide, there's plenty of room to take it down the center. And for some god unknown reason, they felt the necessity to cut down 400 of our trees in this area. And end of the line for returnable Coca-Cola bottle. Yeah, because it, it's costing too much money to use them. I mean, actually, we, we picked up some. They had a Coca-Cola place over in Las Vegas, and a couple of years ago, we picked up some of the returnables. You know, uh, because um, the machines, okay, the machines no longer use them, and, uh, and you basically can't even find them in grocery stores anymore, so... Well, and you have to go to special centers to return the bottles anyway. Yeah. Most of the people I know, they just throw them in their trash cans, and then um, people come through the trash cans before the trash pickup. I know. So. <laughs> Walmart, Walmart workers threaten Black Friday action. Oh, they intend, to, uh, they intend to teach Walmart a lesson. The problem comes as the unions do. The problem is, is if the Democrats lose the Senate, and they try to pull this off, they're going to get their heads busted, folks. I mean, they're going to try to stop people from going in. This is not, this is an old-fashioned Chicago-style thing. They're going to bash, try to bash heads in of anybody crossing picket lines. And meningitis outbreak tangles pharmacies with common owners. Okay, here's the problem is, is that the people that turned out the steroid thing didn't have license to do, uh, they only had license to create, they did not have a license to distribute, so. Oh, and okay. Kodak. They're in trouble, folks. And Kodak asked court to end retiree medical benefits? Yeah. What? Yeah. The, what? No, the because world? the companies are broke. They, they said virtually every corporation in this country is busted on its. That what happened was they were forced under Democratic administrations to give people uh, benefits that they knew that one day would have to come. All they had to do was look at Japan. Japan. Everything was guaranteed for life. In the Soviet Union, everything was guaranteed for life. And guess what happened? The countries went broke. Well, somewhere along the line, because people get older, right? Yeah. <laughs> and they age, and your company may or may not have grown or do as yeah, well. But don't worry. Under Obamacare, people my age will never be allowed to live to my age. If you get sick, you're toast, you know, because you're going to have an end-of-life discussion. No, I won't. You know, I would like to see somebody force me to go to an end-of-life panel. I could, you know, um, I, I'll go put my uniform on, which I could still wear, and remind them, <laughs> you know, screw you. And Reuters, if this poll, Romney takes a slight lead over, over Obama in? No, no, in, he basically, he's leading now in all the, every one of the swing states he's leaving in, leading in. Here is the thing, oh, hey, uh, oh, okay. Uh, you know, actually bite me again is talking about Bill O'Reilly. Well, I find it hard to believe that Romney could be leading in this state because it's such a powerful campaign. Well, let's see, uh, they have written off, as of the, okay, there's only 50 states in the nation. The pollsters have written off conducting polls in 27 states now because they're firmly in the Romney camp. Okay, they now have, okay. Three days ago, Bill O'Reilly said, "Why don't I know that he has a chance in Florida? I don't see why you're taking it off." Well, this morning, the pollsters for the Democratic Party have now put Romney up by seven points in Florida, and here's the tip-off: 
In three of the seven swing states, the President of the United States has cut his advertising back by 60% to shift into other states. Ooh. And only, okay, I, uh, they said statistically, if Romney takes the same states McCain did and picked up three of the swing states, he's won the election. So there, and yet you got Biden looking like a jackass, and you got Obama, you know, liar, liar, pants. Oh, this has got to be liar, liar, pants on fire. That's what he says about uh, Romney and Ryan. Mm -hmm. Anna Monty bubble as if the Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that it quite often. Even though you know it's only going to take a little bit more effort to make something work, you seldom ever put that extra effort into it.